Not all celebrities are proper role models to emulate, but Sandy Duncan has defied all odds and proved to be one of the most iconic actresses to grace our screens. I was doing Carousel, which is one of my favorite roles. I had to audition for days to get it, and uh, we'd have to come in and do the opening. And I'm standing on the stage, and I'm going, I'm not going to get this. What made her push through the pressure of the entertainment industry with such a clean slate? Did Duncan ever face troubles in her career? Join us as we explore the exciting life Duncan lived. The birth of an icon. Let's start from the very beginning, shall we? The star actress Sandy Duncan was born on February 20, 1946, in Henderson, Texas, United States. She was the love child of Mansell Ray Duncan, a truck driver, and Sylvia Duncan, a talented pianist. Duncan had her two older sisters and younger brother. Her family had a strong interest in the arts, and her mother encouraged her to pursue her passion for performing. From a young age, Sandy Duncan showed a natural talent and love for singing and dancing. She participated in local talent shows and school productions, where her abilities were recognized and applauded. Her parents recognized her potential and supported her aspirations to become a performer. After completing high school, Duncan enrolled at Lon Morris College in Jacksonville, Texas, where she studied drama and music. She continued her education at the University of Texas at Austin, majoring in drama and dance. During her time at the university, she gained valuable experience and honed her skills in various theatrical productions. Sandy Duncan's early life laid the foundation for her successful career. Her dedication, talent, and early exposure to the arts helped shape her into the accomplished actress, singer, and dancer she became known for in the entertainment industry. Duncan's career projection. Every successful actress has some sort of backbone, Someone who pushed them to be better and do better, and for Duncan, that person was her mother. Duncan began participating in local talent shows and school productions. Her abilities were quickly recognized and applauded, setting the stage for her future career. After completing high school, she pursued her passion for the performing arts by enrolling at Lon Morris College in Jacksonville, Texas. There, she studied drama and music, further developing her skills and deepening her understanding of the craft. She later continued her education at the University of Texas at Austin, majoring in drama and dance. During her time at the university, Duncan gained valuable experience and honed her talents by participating in various theatrical productions. Her professional career took off in 1968, when she made her debut in a production of The Boyfriend at the Dallas Summer Musicals. Her performance showcased her exceptional singing and dancing abilities, catching the attention of industry professionals. This breakthrough led her to New York City, where she aimed to make a name for herself on Broadway. In 1969, Duncan landed the lead role in the Broadway production of The Canterbury Tales, a musical adaptation of Chaucer's classic. Her performance as the beguiling and vivacious Allison earned her critical acclaim and a Theatre World Award. It was a defining moment in her career, establishing her as a rising star and earning her recognition within the theater community. While primarily associated with her work in theater, Duncan also made notable appearances on television and in film. Television and film success. With all evidence laid on the table, Duncan definitely enjoyed a successful career in both television and film, showcasing her talent and versatility across various projects. In television, Duncan made numerous appearances and starred in several notable shows throughout her career. One of her most significant television roles was as Valerie Hogan in the popular sitcom The Hogan Family, originally titled Valerie, and later Valerie's Family and The Hogan Family. She played the lead character, Valerie Hogan, for four seasons, and her portrayal earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. The show revolved around the daily life and misadventures of the Hogan family, with Duncan's character at the center of the comedic chaos. Duncan also made guest appearances on other well-known television shows, leaving her mark with memorable performances. Some of these shows include The Love Boat, where she played various guest roles in multiple episodes, and The New Dick Van Dyke Show, where she portrayed Dick Van Dyke's love interest in the series. In addition to her achievements in television, Sandy Duncan had success in film as well. One of her most memorable film roles was providing the voice for Vixie, the female fox, in Disney's animated feature film, The Fox and the Hound. 
Her warm and expressive voice brought the character to life, adding depth and emotion to the story. While Sandy Duncan's television and film careers are undoubtedly a huge success, all these mentioned are just a few highlights from her extensive body of work. Her talent and versatility allowed her to excel in a wide range of roles and genres, captivating audiences with her performances and leaving a lasting impact in the entertainment industry. Broadway success. One of Duncan's most iconic and career-defining roles was that of Peter Pan in the Broadway musical of the same name. Her portrayal of the mischievous and adventurous boy who wouldn't grow up was nothing short of magical. Duncan's performance as Peter Pan was celebrated for its energy, charm, and sheer joy, captivating audiences of all ages. Her remarkable talent and ability to fly across the stage with grace and exuberance left theatergoers spellbound. Sandy Duncan's portrayal of Peter Pan earned her critical acclaim and a Tony Award nomination in 1979 for Best Actress in a Musical. Her performance solidified her status as a Broadway star and showcased her immense talent as a singer, dancer, and actress. Beyond her enchanting turn as Peter Pan, Duncan appeared in other highly acclaimed Broadway productions. She wowed audiences in shows such as The Boyfriend, Canterbury Tales, and My One and Only. Her performances in these productions demonstrated her versatility as she effortlessly embodied characters in both comedic and dramatic roles. Sandy Duncan's talent and stage presence made her a beloved figure in the world of Broadway. Her performances were characterized by a magnetic energy, a captivating voice, and a natural ability to connect with audiences. Her contributions to the theater community not only entertained, but also inspired generations of aspiring performers. Duncan's success on Broadway is proof of her dedication, hard work, and undeniable talent, recognition, and accolades. Every job well done deserves an applause and Sandy bagged a lot. Her remarkable talent and captivating performances have garnered her numerous awards and recognition, solidifying her status as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In 1969, Duncan's star began to rise when she received a Theatre World Award for her breakout performance in The Canterbury Tales on Broadway. This prestigious accolade celebrated her exceptional debut and foreshadowed the success that lay ahead. Duncan's undeniable talent caught the attention of the Tony Awards, earning her a nomination in 1971 for her sensational portrayal of the lead character in The Boyfriend. Although she didn't take home the coveted Tony, the nomination itself was a testament to her extraordinary abilities and established her as one of the theater's brightest stars. Not limited to the stage, Duncan's versatility also shone on the small screen. In 1977, her guest appearance on The Muppet Show earned her an Emmy Award nomination. Her infectious energy and comedic timing left a lasting impression, showcasing her ability to captivate audiences in any medium. In recognition of her illustrious career, Duncan received a star on the iconic Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1980. Located on Hollywood Boulevard, this coveted honor cemented her place among the stars of the silver screen and celebrated her contributions to the entertainment industry. Further acclaim came in 1982 when Duncan was bestowed with the prestigious Sarah Siddons Award. This esteemed recognition celebrated her outstanding performances in leading roles and highlighted her contributions to the vibrant Chicago theater scene. Returning to her roots, Duncan was honored by the Texas Film Hall of Fame in the year 2000. As a proud Texan, this induction acknowledged her achievements in film and television, solidifying her status as a homegrown talent and a source of pride for her fellow Texans. In 2010, Duncan received the Texas Medal of Arts Award, a testament to her unwavering dedication to the arts and her significant impact on the cultural landscape of her home state. This prestigious accolade celebrated her contributions as an actress, singer, and dancer, and recognized her ongoing support of the arts in Texas. Sandy Duncan's awards and recognition reflect the immense talent and passion she has brought to her craft. From the bright lights of Broadway to the screens both big and small, she has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, captivating audiences and earning her place among the industry's most celebrated talents. Some career huddles Duncan faced. Like every successful actress, 
Sandy Duncan's journey in the entertainment industry was not without its fair share of hurdles and challenges. Through her vibrant personality and undeniable talent, she overcame obstacles that came her way, proving her resilience and determination. One of the most notable challenges Duncan encountered was a vision impairment. In 1971, she faced a serious setback when she developed a detached retina, which required multiple surgeries, and left her with limited vision in one eye. For someone whose craft relied heavily on sight, this presented a formidable obstacle. But the Duncan we've come to know refused to let it dim her light. With unwavering determination, she adapted to her new circumstances and continued to deliver captivating performances that mesmerized audiences. And then there was the issue of typecasting. Early in her career, she became known for her vivacious and wholesome persona, which led to her being offered similar roles repeatedly. While she embraced these roles and brought them to life with her infectious energy, it also meant that opportunities to showcase her versatility were limited. Yet Duncan was determined to break free from the confines of typecasting. She actively sought out diverse and challenging roles, proving her range as an actress and defying expectations. Balancing family life with the demands of a flourishing career was yet another challenge Duncan navigated. In 1973, she married Dr. Thomas Calcaterra, and together they raised two sons. Juggling the responsibilities of motherhood while pursuing a thriving career in show business required careful planning and support. Duncan made deliberate choices to prioritize her family without sacrificing her passion for her craft, exemplifying her commitment to both her loved ones and her profession. We would look fully into her family life shortly. Also, the entertainment industry itself can be a demanding and competitive environment, subjecting performers to tremendous pressure. Duncan faced the relentless pursuit of success, the need to stay relevant, and the ever-evolving landscape of show business. Yet she remained steadfast. Embracing change, she adapted to new trends, sought out unique opportunities, and made strategic career decisions to stay in the spotlight. On a personal level, Duncan encountered setbacks and challenges that affected her work and well-being. These hurdles could include health issues, personal losses, or unexpected circumstances that required resilience and strength to overcome. However, Duncan's unwavering spirit and determination allowed her to rise above these challenges, proving her tenacity and dedication to her craft. Despite the hurdles and problems she faced, Sandy Duncan's career trajectory is a testament to her indomitable spirit. She turned challenges into stepping stones, showcasing her versatility, resilience, and unwavering commitment to her art. Duncan's ability to overcome obstacles and continue to captivate audiences with her infectious charm and talent is proof of her enduring legacy in the entertainment industry. Some personal huddles. As we delve deeper into Sandy Duncan's story, we've uncovered her career huddles. Now let's look into some personal struggles she encountered along her journey. Behind the radiant smile and captivating performances, she faced her own set of challenges, reminding us that even the brightest stars have their shadows. Balancing personal and professional life proved to be a delicate dance for Sandy. The demands of her thriving career often clashed with her desire for deep, meaningful connections. Long hours on set, extensive travel, and the ever-changing nature of show business strained her personal relationships and left her yearning for a sense of stability and intimacy. Rejection, a bitter pill swallowed by many in the entertainment industry, was no stranger to Sandy. Auditions that didn't go as planned, roles that slipped through her fingers, and projects that failed to materialize tested her resilience. Each setback became an opportunity to dig deep and summon her unwavering determination to forge ahead, despite the sting of disappointment. The glare of the spotlight brought both adoration and scrutiny. Sandy experienced the weight of public opinion, the sharpness of critics' tongues, and the constant analysis of her work, appearance, and personal life. In the face of such intense scrutiny, she had to find a way to stay true to herself, shield her vulnerability, and rise above the noise. Like many artists, Sandy battled with self-doubt and the haunting presence of imposter syndrome. Despite her undeniable talent and the admiration of her peers, 
She occasionally questioned her own abilities. The fear of being exposed as a fraud, the nagging insecurity about her talent's longevity, and the occasional crisis of confidence served as reminders that even the brightest stars can harbor shadows of uncertainty. Navigating the demanding world of show business took a toll on Sandy's physical and mental well-being. The irregular schedules, grueling work environments, and the constant need to adapt and perform pushed her to the brink. Stress, anxiety, and even burnout lurked in the shadows. Demanding that she prioritize self-care and find the delicate balance between pursuing her passion and nurturing her overall well-being. Sandy's personal struggles remind us that behind the glamour and success, artists face human challenges that shape their journeys. Yet, it is through these struggles that they find their strength, resilience, and the ability to create art that resonates deeply with audiences. Unbelievable net worth. Well, Duncan had made a significant impact on both stage and screen throughout her illustrious career. She has successfully amassed an enormous net worth estimated at $5 million. Now that's a kick. Sandy Duncan's remarkable career spanning multiple mediums and genres has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her versatility, charm, and unwavering dedication to her craft have made her a beloved figure, earning her a place among the most respected and celebrated actress with a well-deserving net worth and properties. Beloved children. Sandy Duncan now 78 years old, first married to singer-actor Bruce Scott, whom she met during the off-Broadway production of Your Own Thing. They tied the knot in September 1962, but unfortunately divorced in October 1972. The strains in their relationship stemmed from the pressures and challenges that arose as Duncan's career soared to new heights. In an interview with People magazine in 1979, Duncan revealed that her success was threatening to her then-husband. Following her divorce from Scott, Duncan entered into her second marriage with Dr. Thomas Calcaterra on January 10, 1973. Their union, however, lasted only until 1979. It was during this time that Duncan underwent brain tumor surgery, and Calcaterra, a consulting surgeon, played a role in her medical care. Unfortunately, Duncan attributes the failure of this marriage to the demands of her 1978 nightclub act and her unwillingness to conform to the traditional role of a doctor's wife, choosing instead to continue pursuing her career. But since July 21, 1980, Duncan has been happily married to actor and choreographer Don Correa. The couple, who had performed together on stage before tying the knot, settled in Connecticut and went on to build a life together. They are blessed with two sons, born in 1982 and 1984, and have found joy in their shared love for the performing arts. Duncan's connection to her roots is evident in Taylorville, Illinois, near Springfield, where the town has honored her by naming a street after Sandy Duncan Drive. This gesture pays homage to her character's origins in both Funny Face and The Sandy Duncan Show, where her character Sandy Stockton hails from Taylorville. How Sandy Duncan managed to balance her family life and career. Sandy Duncan faced the challenge of balancing her family life with her demanding profession. It was no easy feat, but she managed to do so with grace and determination, finding ways to make it work. One of the keys to Duncan's success in balancing her family and career was the support she had from her loved ones. Her marriage to actor and choreographer Don Correa provided a strong foundation. With a partner who understood the demands and intricacies of the industry, Duncan had someone by her side who could empathize and support her through the ups and downs. Another crucial element was Duncan's ability to prioritize family time. Despite the demands of her career, she recognized the importance of being present for her husband and children. She made a conscious effort to create opportunities for bonding and connection, setting aside dedicated family time and making the most of the moments they had together. Strategic career choices also played a significant role in Duncan's ability to balance her personal and professional life. She carefully considered the projects she took on, weighing factors such as location, time commitment, and impact on her family. By being selective and choosing projects that aligned with her values and priorities, she ensured that her work didn't overshadow her role as a wife and mother. 
Setting boundaries was another crucial aspect of Duncan's balancing act. She communicated her needs and limitations to her agents, managers, and production teams, ensuring that her schedule and workload were manageable and allowed for quality time with her family. By asserting her boundaries, she was able to create a framework that accommodated both her career aspirations and her desire to be there for her loved ones. Flexibility and adaptability were essential qualities that Duncan embraced. Show business can be unpredictable, with last-minute changes and unexpected opportunities arising. She learned to navigate these challenges by finding creative solutions that allowed her to fulfill her family commitments while still pursuing her career. Whether it meant adjusting schedules, bringing her family on set when possible, or seeking out projects that offered more flexibility, Duncan was willing to adapt to make it all work. Finally, self-care and effective time management were crucial components of Duncan's balancing act. She understood the importance of taking care of herself, both physically and mentally. By prioritizing self-care and making time for activities that rejuvenated her, she was better equipped to handle the demands of her busy life. Additionally, her strong time management skills allowed her to allocate time for work, family, and personal needs, ensuring that none of those aspects were neglected. In the end, Sandy Duncan's ability to balance her family life with her flourishing career in show business was a testament to her determination, support system, and wise decision-making. She showed that with the right mindset, prioritization, and a little bit of creativity, it is possible to navigate the challenges and find harmony between one's personal and professional life. How Sandy Duncan balances her private and professional life. Imagine sitting down with Sandy Duncan, the accomplished actress known for successfully balancing her personal and professional life. Over a cup of coffee, she imparts valuable advice for those seeking to achieve a similar equilibrium. Here's what she might say. Ah, balancing personal and professional lives, it's no easy feat. First and foremost, you have to know what truly matters to you. Take a moment to identify your priorities in both aspects of your life. Once you have that clarity, guard those priorities like treasures. Set clear boundaries and communicate them to the world around you. Don't be afraid to say no when something doesn't align with your core values and goals. But remember, you're not alone in this endeavor. Surround yourself with a support network that understands and uplifts you family, friends, and colleagues who share your dreams can be your guiding stars in times of doubt and exhaustion. Lean on them, seek their advice, and let them be your cheerleaders along the way. Flexibility is the name of the game. Life throws curveballs, and you must be willing to adapt and find creative solutions. Embrace the unexpected because sometimes the most beautiful opportunities come disguised as detours. Be open to adjusting your plans and exploring new paths that allow for both personal and professional growth. Now, knowing this secret, effective time management is the key to unlocking the door of balance. Master the art of prioritization. Set realistic goals and establish routines that honor both your personal and professional commitments. Learn to let go of perfectionism and focus on progress one step at a time. Ah, self-care. It's not just a buzzword. It's a lifeline. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Find activities that rejuvenate your spirit and make time for them. When you prioritize self-care, you'll notice a remarkable improvement in your ability to handle life's demands. Communication is the glue that holds everything together. Open and honest communication is vital in both your personal and professional spheres. Share your needs, expectations, and struggles with your loved ones and colleagues. Collaboration is the secret sauce to finding harmony and support from those around you. Lastly, be present in the moment. When you're with your family, be fully engaged. Put away distractions and savor those precious moments. Likewise, when you're at work, give it your all. Focus on the task at hand and let your passion shine through. By being present, You'll enrich your experiences and create lasting memories. Remember, finding balance is a continuous journey. There will be bumps along the road, but with determination, self-reflection, and the support of those who love you, you can navigate the twists and turns. Embrace the adventure, and may you find the harmony you seek in both your personal and professional pursuits.
Did you imagine yourself taking this advice directly from Duncan? If you did, that's just the drive you need to succeed like her. Some career advice from Sandy Duncan. Like the first advice given, here is some advice regarding career boosters from Sandy to you. First and foremost, follow your heart's true calling. Find that spark, that fire within you, and pursue a path that ignites your soul. When you're fueled by passion, your work will radiate with authenticity and success will naturally follow. Now, let's not shy away from taking risks. Embrace the unknown, for that's where the magic happens. Step out of your comfort zone, spread your wings, and soar. Opportunities often lie beyond what we can see, so be bold, be brave, and seize the chances that come your way. But remember, you're not alone on this journey. Surround yourself with a tribe of supporters, mentors, and fellow dreamers who believe in you and your talents. Cherish those who uplift and inspire you, for their guidance and connections can open doors you never knew existed. Ah the quest for knowledge and growth. Never stop learning. The arts are ever evolving, and staying curious is the key. Immerse yourself in workshops, classes, and the works of great artists. Expand your horizons, hone your skills, and let your talent blossom like a beautiful flower. Adaptability is a gift. Show business is ever-changing, like a kaleidoscope of possibilities. Embrace new technologies, trends, and ways of storytelling. Be versatile willing to explore different genres and roles. Your ability to adapt will keep you relevant and open doors to diverse opportunities. Now, let's talk about resilience and persistence. You see, the path to success is rarely a straight line. You may face setbacks, rejection, and moments of doubt. But remember, those who soar highest are the ones who rise after a fall. Stay resilient, keep honing your craft, and never lose faith in your own potential. Balance, my dear, is the key to a harmonious life. Cherish your personal relationships, nurture your well-being, and savor the joys outside of your career. Find time to laugh, to love, and to care for yourself. When you're in balance, you'll shine even brighter on both the stage and in life. Lastly, my dear, let your true self shine through. In a world where many try to fit into molds, stay authentic to who you are. Embrace your quirks, your uniqueness, and let your genuine voice be heard. Your authenticity is a magnet that will draw people to your work and leave an indelible mark on the hearts of others. Remember, your career is a beautiful journey of self-discovery and growth. Embrace each step with love, passion, and resilience. Trust in your own talents and instincts and let your light shine brightly upon the world. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.